So what I'd like to do now is invite you to come along with me oh, and we we'll go for a row. There's no invitation required, <laughs> I can tell you, I'm your man. Oh, right. the stern there, John. Oh, Good man, Con. <laughs> Dixie and his pals at the West Clare Rowing Club have revived the Clare Curragh by so far building lads? seven boats and distributing them free of charge to neighbouring coastal communities. In doing so, they reopened a connection with old neighbours, an Atlantic corridor, if you wish, that had waned with the arrival of the car. Just one hand over the other. Keep it steady. Get your back into it. It's the rhythm method. It's brilliant. This is the life, I tell you. Between the steady beat of the oars and uh, the waves rolling by the gunnel there, it's a combination of exhilaration and tranquility at the same time. It's fantastic. And they call it the five-hand corrock. And the great thing is, all hands on this boat are athletes. Am I right, lads? And lassies? Tell you now, that was a day and a half. I had the Vikings. I had the Monks of Old, the Rovers of the Sea, and I had the West Clare Corrock Club. Brilliant work they're doing in terms of revitalising the whole love of the Corrock and the communication between all the communities along the coast here. And on top of that then, I discovered that the Corrock is just a sweet instrument. In terms of meeting the challenge of the Atlantic Ocean and all its power and everything else, there's no point confronting it with force and trying to steam into those waves. If you travel by Corrock, you're as light as a feather, you can turn on a thruppence, and if you're in trouble, you can pull the Corrock out of the water yourself. Brilliant day.